بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد وعلی آلہ وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد Continuing on in our reading of some of the hadith, a hadith about fasting, we reach a very important issue about fasting while traveling. And this is an incredibly important issue for us all because as with in this time and age, when people are constantly traveling, traveling around the earth and with the ease of of travel these days that we have to have some fiqh and some understanding about traveling and fasting especially if a person is fasting the holy month of Ramadan and they are uh, they and, and they happen to be a traveler or need to travel during that time so what is the ruling per- pertinent to that so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem wa ma ja'ala alaykum fi deen min al-haraj Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and we have not made upon you anything from the religion which is difficult and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa yuridu Allah bikum al-yusra wa la yuridu bikum al-usra Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and Allah wants for you ease and he does not want difficulty for you subhanahu wa ta'ala and during the time of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam fasting and as even in this day and age but it's so much easier now but uh, not fasting but traveling was something difficult it had mushakka and sa'uba you know it had difficulty and trials and things Uh, on, on a journey and as a prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam it's a portion that traveling is like a portion of punishment because especially during the time of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam there's was a lot of difficulty and although we have air travel but even when you travel long distances by plane you find a lot of times difficulty in the seating you know not like uh, they experienced in in earlier times but there's still difficulty to sit on a plane for 13 hours to sit maybe you experience back problems some people uh, get sicknesses air sicknesses or if they travel by the sea or what have you so traveling is still very uh challenging and can be very strenuous on on the human body and So due to that reason the sharia gave us a rukhsa gave us uh made it permissible for us to break your fast while you're traveling. And the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said and this is you know something that's mustahab it's 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 recommended to break your fast while you're traveling and we'll talk more about the specific details uh either in this sitting or another sitting. The prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said laysa min al-birr As-siyamu fi safar. He said it is not from taqwa, you know, not from God fearfulness, as we mentioned in our lessons in taqwa, to fast while you're traveling. Letting us know that it's a, a rukhsa, and that's especially if there is difficulty. Then that's not from piety to hold. And I know situations where individuals have traveled from for example from Saudi Arabia to America fasting during the holy month of Ramadan traveling for almost 24 hours not knowing when to fast and getting into different time zones that right there it's not from taqwa to do that it's not from taqwa especially if you have knowledge if you don't have knowledge then you maybe you fast it and you and you do it anyway and you strive and you think you're coming closer to Allah and you're you're striving and and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will will reward you bi idni Allah ta'ala but it is not as the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said it's not from taqwa to do that to put yourself through punishment when a law is made a, an an easy way to do something an aisha radiyallahu ta'ala anha an hamza ibn an hamza ibn amr al-aslami qala li nabiy sallallahu alayhi wasallam 
أصوم في سفر وكان كثير الصيام قال إن شت فصوم وإن شت فافطر رواه بخاري ومسلم In this hadith of Aisha رضي الله تعالى عنها She said that Hamza Hamza ibn Amr al-Aslami رضي الله تعالى عنه said to the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم Should I fast while traveling? And it, he was a person who used to uh, fast often. He, he, he loved to fast. The Prophet ﷺ said, If you wish, then fast. And if you wish, then break your fast. And this is collected in Bukhari and Muslim. In this hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, it shows us the ruqsa, the permissibility of breaking your fast. That, 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 that's that's uh, something that Allah has made easy upon us. And some of the benefits we gain because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants ease for us. Some of the benefits we gain from this hadith, one, the permissibility to break a person's fast while traveling if they feel that there's going to be difficulty. It's going to be hard on their body. It's going to be hard on them to fast. You know, it's going to be a mushakka, you know, a great, a great difficulty. And we'll talk more details in another sitting about this. And number two, the, another benefit is that a person has the choice to either break their fast or continue fasting as long as they have the strength to fast as long as they have the quwa they have the strength to fast and that is in uh, when in the situation of Ramadan letting us know that you have the choice and if you feel that there's a greater difficulty upon you by fasting then you should definitely break your fast. But if you feel that it's it's not going to be that much difficult, it's not going to be that difficult upon you to fast, and it's the holy month of Ramadan, and you don't want to make up the month of Ramadan, you don't want to make that day up, and you feel that uh, it's it's not going to uh, be much difficulty for you, you're traveling a couple of hours by plane or, or whatever the situation is, that you don't feel it's going to be much difficult, it's not going to be very difficult for you. Then in that case, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best, then it's better to fast. And again, we'll look at some of the statements of the ulama in one of the next ahadith that we study. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan.